Hey y'all, welcome to Life on Goldman Road. Today, we are gonna do cheesecake. Two different ways, one no bake, one bake, and both are super, super simple. So come along with us as we do these cheesecakes and see the final results, which were so, so tasty. So hope y'all enjoy. Thanks for coming along. Okay, we are gonna start on our cheesecake now. Um, I have my wrinkled up recipe that I have written out. This recipe is coming from Pinterest. So <laughs> let's keep our fingers crossed. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do, I'm changing up the recipe a little bit. It calls for white chocolate and I don't want a white chocolate cheesecake. So I'm leaving that out. So we're gonna start with three quarters of a cup of heavy whipping cream. Um, we're gonna beat that until uh, stiff peaks form. And then we're gonna remove that from this bowl and then we're gonna start in on our um, cream cheese. Dogs. Cream cheese mixture. Yes. So we'll go through this together. We're going to go ahead and start beating our heavy whipping cream. We're also going to count out 36 Oreos. They are very precise when they do this. So um, we're going to count out our Oreos and get those crushed up as well. Okay, we're going to let our heavy whipping cream go while I count out Oreos and get ready to run them through the food processor. Okay, our heavy whipping cream did wonderful. We have our stiff peaks that we need. We're gonna set that aside. Okay, um, I also have the Oreos crushed up. That's what you're seeing back here in the food processor. I'm gonna go ahead and get the ingredients here to be mixed together. So. We have our block of cream, of cream cheese, and I'm just gonna cut it into smaller pieces because, I mean, that's a great big old hunk, and it's it's softening, um, so, but this will help it, you know, kind of mix together a little better, maybe. So again, this is three blocks of cream cheese. Now we're doing the crust out of the Oreos, which is gonna be so good. But then we're gonna take another recipe and do a topping and that will also have Oreos in it. I know you have seen the strawberry crunch bars, like the ice cream bars, and you can do this the crunch cakes and things like that. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the strawberry crunch topping on top of this cheesecake. So um, it should be so, so good, especially with our Oreos in the crust. So let me get this garbage out of the way. All right, Whoop. it would work better if I had my and this is just heavy whipping cream on here. It's fine. It's all going to go back together in a little bit anyway. So, no need to wash and all that stuff. So, we're going to get that down in there. Lock it in. See if we can get this blended together. Okay, that's looking good. We're going to add a half a cup of powdered sugar to our cream cheese. And we're also going to add vanilla. I believe it's a teaspoon. So let's get our half a cup of powdered sugar in there without flicking it all over the kitchen. Powdered sugar and I just, we have a love-hate relationship. All right, there's that. Okay. Start to get that incorporated a little bit. We're going to go ahead and add our banana. Okay, 
now we need to go ahead and scrape down the sides because again, this this uh, whisk attachment kind of only does the middle, so we need to make sure everything around the edges are uh, incorporated in this. We're just going to use the spatula that I had in the heavy whipping cream because again, it's all going to be mixed together in just a little bit. And if you hear that uh, music in the background, Grayson is spending the night with us tonight, and he is, sounds like playing the piano. Wait, let me see if I can get this worked around. Okay. We're going to give this another whirl and mix again. We are going to fold in our heavy whipping cream. Let me get this out of the way. scrape down the sides one more, one more time. Sorry, that was a puppy and a cat. <laughs> okay, that's really good. Alright, so let's go ahead and fold in our heavy whipping cream. Now this, of course, is a no-bake cheesecake, so no eggs, no worrying about the top cracking, Easy, easy. No fuss. All right, let's fold in our heavy whipping cream. <clears throat> All right, that's looking pretty good. Let's, let me show you. Let's get our crust going because we're fixing to put this on our crust okay we have our three tablespoons of butter we're going to go ahead and pour in here and we're going to take and some of our cookies didn't crumble all the way so if i see one i'm just going to take it out but we're going to take our cookie crumb mixture now i did reserve a little bit this is um probably about three quarters of a cup uh, this is a cup and a half scoop so probably about three quarters of a cup what we're going to do is reserve some of it to mix with strawberry jello and um, leave the other part um, the golden color okay let me get a spoon let me work quickly what this is going to do this melted butter is just going to kind of help these cookie crumbs stick together and it is going to form our crust okay and really it, it i don't know if you can tell the difference in the texture but it's it's coming together and you don't want it soaked in butter you just want everything kind of coated and it will press together beautifully okay that is good all right we have our nine inch spring form pan and we're just going to pour our crust in there make sure we get all of those goodies because that's our cookies and butter how good is that going to be? All right, let me get a, let me get a little measuring cup. Now I'm going to spread this out and kind of get it going, but what we want to do is press this in and kind of pull it up to the sides so our crust will kind of come up the sides of our cake. All right, we're going to get in here, back of our measuring cup, and just press down to where we form kind of
kind of the even along the bottom and then just kind of coming up the sides. And you'll feel it start coming together. It's not hard. This is not rocket science. Everybody kind of freaks out about bacon and, and things like that. And I guess you, you know, you're a little bit more precise when you're baking, but really and truly once, if you'll just follow the directions. Now, like I said, we're, we're kind of mixing two recipes together. And when you're comfortable enough, you know, in your skill level to do that, no problems. Sometimes it turns out and sometimes it doesn't. Trust me, I have had fails and you know, you just, you kind of do it again. So I'm gonna get this pressed in and we'll be right back. Now we're gonna add our mixture to our crust. <clears throat> I did a little sample of this. This is not overly sweet. So, because of the crust and because of the topping, I think it's going to work out perfectly, though. So, let's go ahead and get this in our crust. Now, I apologize for blocking the shot. Let's see what I can do. got somebody nosy here. I don't know if you see him or not, but he wants to see what I'm doing. All right, let me scrape down this bowl. Try not, <laughs> try not to beat too hard on your springform pan because your crust that goes up the side will sometimes fall off. So be be gentle. All right. Set this here. Okay. Now I'm going to kind of spread this out. And if you wanted a thicker cheesecake, this is a not. Oops. This is a nine-inch springform pan. You could do an eight. Or you might could get into into a seven. And some of our crust is coming off the side, but that's okay. It's going in the refrigerator. And it will set up. And we should be able to pop this spring in the morning and get everything off. We don't want to leave any goodie. Okay, okay. there we are. Pretty pretty. We have some of our cookie crumbs here in this, and I have, like I said, reserved some still in this because we want the golden color. We're going to add two tablespoons of strawberry jello to this. I'm sorry, you can't see. Two tablespoons of strawberry jello. And we need just a little mixture to bring out the color. So, you know, my favorite heavy whipping cream. We're probably going to use about a, maybe a tablespoon. We'll see how that goes. We may have to use two. If that brings out the red. We have some strawberry ice cream topping we're going to put on top of our cheesecake. 
and I probably should wait to do this until tomorrow, but I have so much more to do, so we're going to go ahead and get that on. This was about a half a jar. Looks like we're going to probably use it all. Strawberry cookie mixture. We're going to get in with our hands and sprinkle this around. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and add that into it. That way we've got both colors together. And again, this topping probably needs to be put on just before you eat it, but it will be fine, it will be fine. And there we have it. We're going to wrap this up in press and seal, strawberry crunch cheesecake. Wanted to take you along tonight as I do a baked cheesecake. Um, probably in this same upload, you will see the no-bake version of this cheesecake. Uh, it's the strawberry crunch cheesecake. It has the strawberry crunch topping. Okay, the recipe we're using tonight actually comes from the cream cheese box that we got from Sam's, this big Velveeta size box. Um, there is just a simple cheesecake recipe on the inside of the lid. Um, the ingredients are really simple. The only thing, you know, when you bake a cheesecake, usually you have to do the water bath thing. So, I was kind of intimidated, not going to lie. Uh, the first time I baked a cheesecake, uh, it was supposed to not crack without the water bath method. It did. Not bad, but it did. So, last night when I baked this cheesecake, I did a water bath method. And it's not that hard. It's not that hard um, and it did not uh, crack so our ingredients are very simple we're gonna do one and a half pounds of cream cheese that's three blocks of cream cheese it's also gonna be room temperature you want it soft uh, three quarters cup of sugar three quarters cup of sour cream three eggs and a teaspoon of vanilla and that's it for the cheesecake batter the crust is going to be one and a quarter cups graham cracker crumbs, uh, one third cup of melted butter, and a quarter cup of sugar. So, not hard at all. And I may, we may do Oreo cookies for this crust just to see how it works out. Um, because I did the graham cracker crust on it last night and it really just wasn't enough crust. Uh, this goes into a nine inch spring form pan. So the graham crackers, and maybe I just didn't use enough. I, I really, I just didn't measure, I didn't measure. Um, so I'm not sure, maybe I just didn't have enough. Uh, but, Maybe we'll just do the cookies tonight. That way we'll have everything the same, except one is no bake and one is baked. Let's do that. So, let's get started. 
All right, we have our three blocks of cream cheese in here, and I've already kind of started around a little bit just so, just to break it up, um, kind of thing. <clears throat> We're gonna add in our three quarters of a cup of sour cream. Let me fold this up. Three quarters of a cup of sour cream. Get all of that scraped out of there. Okay. Now, it doesn't say to, but I'm going to go ahead and get this mixed just a little bit too. Perfect. Okay. We are going to add our eggs. We're going to do those one at a time. We are also going to add our sugar. Okay. All right, so let's turn this on. We're gonna add one at a time. Let it get mixed in before we add the other. One of my dogs is a feed bowl, and he doesn't want anybody within 30 feet of him. Anybody else have those grumpy ones? All right, well, let's get that mixed in. Looks good. Now, I have not started on our crust. Uh, I do have our food processor out here, though, but I'll take you along with us when we do that. Okay, we are... Gonna add our sugar. And I'm sorry if I'm pausing. I'm trying to keep up with my recipe just a little bit. Let me get that added in. We're gonna need a teaspoon of vanilla. We'll go ahead and get that added in as well. We're gonna let this sit here for just a minute because we are not ready to pour it up. Obviously, we're not ready to pour it into our spring form pan. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna move you around a little bit and we're gonna go through the crumb mixture. All right, now I know I've been saying Oreos. We just need a vanilla cream cookie. Cheap is better because this is going into a crust and this was like a dollar 88 versus a 548 for Oreos. So there we there we are with that. Okay, so we're going to count out 36 cream filled cookies and put in our food processor. All right. I have 24 in here right now. It's pretty full. So I am going to go ahead and give it a little vroom vroom and see if we cannot get it, you know, so we can add more. So it's got to be a little loud. Okay, so that is not all the way by any means, but it's lower to where we can add more cookies. All right, so we had 24, 28, 32, 36. Now we are gonna blend until they are completely smooth. So I'm gonna pause you so you don't have to just listen to the grumble. We have beautiful, 
cream filled vanilla cookie crumbs. They look great. See how that looks. Wonderful. All right. So I am going to reserve some of this for our topping. Probably, again, about three quarters of a cup. And then the rest we're going to mix with butter. Get in our spring form pan. Okay, we have our melted butter here. And I'm going to add the um, crushed cookie crumbs and pray we don't overfill our bowl. Look at that. It was made for it. I'm gonna take a spoon and what we're gonna do is just wet these crumbs with the melted butter. finish getting these incorporated and poured into our springform pan. Okay, I'm kind of working on limited space here in my little corner. Um, we've got oil and different things in the way. And to be quite honest, it all <laughs> bothers me when I don't have my space. Um, I said for years that I had ADHD cleaning brain and little did I know that that was an actual thing so it does make a difference uh, I have trouble concentrating when I'm kind of scrunched up so we're gonna take a little measuring cup it's just a half a cup it's you will use whatever you want but this is flat-sided so I can get close to the edges and what we're gonna do is just kind of spread everything out and then we're gonna start pressing make sure all this gets in there evenly and then we're gonna press and make this a crust we kind of want to make it come up the sides just a little bit we've got it flattened out a little bit up the sides not much the only thing different between graham crackers and cookies graham crackers will pull up the sides a little better than the cookies but usually when I rim around the edge to get it out of the pan my sides come off anyway so this is fine we've got our bottom covered nice and flat we're gonna go ahead and pour in our cheesecake filling as you can see I've already lined my pan with foil all you do is just kind of bring your foil up around the edges be sure to turn you know not, don't poke any holes in it or, or things like this because this is going to protect it from the water that we're going to um, put in the pan that this is going to sit in. So we are going to go ahead and pour our cream cheese mixture into this. Let me take And we have our oven preheating. I should have done that ago and I didn't do it. Okay. We're going to scrape down the sides just in case anything was left. This is our cream cheese mixture. Okay, that is in there. Let me get our cookie sheet and we will put it in the oven in just a second. 
Now what I'm doing is just bumping it on the countertop to get any air bubbles out of it. Uh, that also helps to hopefully not have a crack in the top. So you can, I don't know if you can see or not, but I can see actually little air bubbles rising to the top and bursting. So maybe we will have good luck. All right, let me get that cookie sheet. All right, we're gonna be real scientific about this. We have a 16 ounce sour cream. Woo, gracious, if I could pour straight. All right, we're gonna get one more. Okay, I think we're good there. We're gonna let it go for 70 minutes. All right, we have had lunch, we have taken a nap, we have finished at the chicken houses. We are getting ready to go to a friend's house tonight for the big ball game. So we are gonna finish this cheesecake. So I've just taken it out of the refrigerator. Uh, let me take you along as we do the topping. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is take a knife and go around the edge of this cheesecake. Yeah, that's right. Kind of loosen it up a little bit. I'm probably, probably not keeping y'all in line very good, but Okay, let's see what that does. All right, we are separated. Look at that. I have a sink full of dishes, of course, that I need to work on but that will come later just wonder if i would be able to take it off of the pan bottom let me see if i can do that if not we're just gonna leave it on okay finishing up this cheesecake we're gonna just leave it on the base because i don't want to tear it up we have got our strawberry ice cream topping Spoon. And we're probably maybe use a half a jar. We'll see. Depends on how it spreads out. Well, that's about a half a jar. Daddy, um, where's my robe? Do what? Where's my robe? I don't know, baby. As you can hear, Grayson is here with me. That looks very good right there. It's a little, it's about a half a jar in there. So. Okay. Now, we're going to set this aside because we're finished with this. So, this will go in the refrigerator for another cheesecake later or ice cream or whatever. <laughs> okay. We have our crumbles. What I did, I took our Jello, uh, sorry, our cookies that we had crushed, and I added one tablespoon of heavy whipping cream and two tablespoons of just dry strawberry Jello. Nothing special there, just strawberry jello. Mix it in, and you get these beautiful um, strawberry crumbles with some of the golden cookies as well. So, we're going to just take it and spread it right over the top. Let's we'll see if we can get it everywhere. Look at 
that is beautiful finished I'm gonna wrap it up and we will be ready to go um, we'll be ready to take this to the party all right there you have it two cheesecakes made two different ways hope you enjoyed it thanks for following along with us be sure to like and subscribe join us next time there is no telling what we will be doing but we appreciate you coming along with us see you then